Hey everyone, it's up North Collectors here. We are opening up 20 different packs of baseball cards. So our random pack video here includes things like Bowman's Bass, Series 2 Jumbo, a Series 2 Jumbo Silver Pack, and a whole bunch of other cards. Let's see what we get out of some of these packs. Maybe a big hit. Maybe just some good rookie cards. Who knows? Pro Debut is a sneaky set this year. Four autographs per box, under $80 a box, or around uh, 80 bucks a box. 2021? Yeah, 2021 yeah. Pro Debut. Sneaky set from last year. This year, last year. Yeah, and the price hasn't really skyrocketed or anything. No, not really. Yeah. Uh, 2021 Heritage and 2021 Bowman Chrome. 2022 Series 1. 2022 Tops Heritage. 2021 update there's a lot of update available that stuff uh is... yeah there's lots of updates so yep. this stuff too series two yep. i mean i have boxes of those in my shop for 60 bucks 65 bucks something like that they're super yeah cheap. and uh in there is um jazz chisholm rookie yes uh series two jumbo and we've got a 19 heritage minor league a dunrus pack uh, baseball releases this month are kind of slow, actually. Yeah, well, so I was, was trying to remember, when was the last, what was the last hobby release? Series 2, right? Series 2, yeah. And it's been, like, nothing since Well, then, no. Other did than, Pristine come out after Series well, 2? Well, Pristine, I mean, like, the standard products, not the higher end. I'm talking oh, I'm still just end. talking about releases. Yeah, no, no, Pristine did come out, and so did um, Tier 1. Yeah. Yeah. Well, tier 1's not, at, like, a super high end. It's, like, 200 bucks. Right. I mean, it's more expensive, but it's not, like, insane. Uh, 2021, Ginter. It's, like, 215 I think, right now. Uh, Ginter. Normally, Ginter would come out by now, or right around Ginter now. Ginter would. But... Stadium Club would have already been out. Um, yeah. Tony Glenn. It's cool. And Topps Chrome would have been out. Horn gone. Yeah, Chrome this year is going to be legit. Yeah. So it's been in, I think right now, according to the la latest uh, release calendar I saw, because the end of this month is the next release that's like an affordable release, which would be Stadium Club, and that could get pushed back. There's a Jazz, nice. Casey Mize, Garrett Mitchell, Austin Hendrick, Forrest Whitley, Cavaco, and Brandon Marsh. 2021 Bowman has actually fallen quite a bit since its initial release. <clears throat> uh, prospects out there have not panned out, I think, as well as people were hoping. No. No, yeah, I've noticed the prices of that and definitely not um, skyrocketing at all. They're not ascending by any means. No. So. 2021 Dunruss, Javi Baez, Kyle Hendricks, Mike Trout, Greg Maddox, 14 times All Star, Vlad Guerrero, Salvador Perez out of 2021, and Eugenio Suarez. Salvador Perez um, playing against the Red Sox in the last series here. Playing quite well. Very impressive catcher. The guy is a um, big man. Like, he is. Very large. Very uh, There's an Edgar daunting. Martinez and a Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis kind of fell off the face of the earth a little bit. Well, he's been injured so much. Yeah. Uh, he did come back and hit a home run the other day. but I heard about that. Yeah. But, yeah, he's been injured a lot. Daniel Johnson, Varsho, Kaiboom, Longoria, Nicholas, JV, Kyle Marte, Scherzer. Scherzer pitching amazing. DeGrom, again. I know DeGrom's pitching well too. He just yeah, hit some other milestone yep. today. Uh, yes. 2022 Heritage. Some kind of strikeout milestone. Let's get into this. Brett Phillips, Seth Brown, Jose Abreu, Pavin Smith, Zach McKinstry, Rich Hill, Matt Peacock, uh, Christian Vasquez, and Tom Murphy. Um, one thing, we've got a couple of these slabs in the background. If you guys want to do any SGC grading at all, SGC, I've been getting a ton of submissions for SGC recently. It's really taken off. A little, um, so, little marketing. Yeah, a little plug. If you're trying to get some stuff graded, 25 bucks a card, uh, send it my way. All the information's on upnorthcollectors.com. Uh, super easy, but SGC's been killing it. Uh, yeah, super fun to get, especially like baseball, in my opinion, to get graded. Baseball slabs, yeah. I've sold a ton of. and yep. I mean, anything really. Football's been selling well, everything. but. Yep. Uh, baseball seems to do a little bit better than others in SGC, so uh, definitely something to consider. Eduardo Escobar Gold. And I also see a higher volume of baseball coming in to get slabbed in SGC than anything else, but that also could just be because of our channel dynamics and True. whatever. True, <clears throat> it could be, but yeah, SGC's had a long history of baseball too, so <coughs> pardon me, that makes Bless sense. Bless you. 2021 tops heritage 2021 heritage high number is like dirt cheap <laughs> that is like nothing it's like 50 bucks yeah. 45 bucks a box super cheap very stuff affordable cole calhoun 
You can still pull some pretty big hits out of there. I mean, there's, yeah, there's it's, usually... it's just either going to get all base cards or something cool. Exactly. I mean, it's hard to know. Exactly. All right. the, but the odds of playing those are very, very slow. There's no big rookies to chase out of there really either. So it's tough. Series two jumbo. I've had a ton of this ripped in store. Someone has pulled. I think we've gotten every SP out of the shop except for Torkelson so far. <clears throat> yeah, is it? Aren't Torkelsons and Wits harder to pull than the Julios? I believe. Uh, I think so, but I don't. I, I don't really know how good that number really is because it, it is hard to tell. That's just a, I think a guess as to what's coming up on eBay more maybe, but right and the, right. So other uh, people may not be posting their. Um, Torkelson stuff because he's obviously right. not exactly like right. I wouldn't sell Torkelson right now. Yeah, car, I wouldn't either. either no. so. uh, Bart, Juan Yepes, Paguero. Yeah, series two is a really fun set. I think it'll be a good one to hold on to long term. So many good rookies in there that are SPs. I mean, between Wit, Torque, yeah. and Julio. Yeah, one of those guys <clears throat> is bound to be really good. So uh, let's get into 2021 Bowman's best. Right, whenever you have a set like that, it definitely has potential to be really good. Got an autograph in here. Nice. Joey Gallo, Alec Baum, Jose Abreu, uh, Zach Veen. These Bowen's Best Refractors do sell very well still. Like, I sold a Julio Rodriguez for, like, 30 bucks the other oh, day. Oh, yeah, so. if you get the right name, for sure. Yep. They're they're beautiful cards. There's a blue auto? Blue. So. Yeah. Cleveland Indians, shortstop. No, Valera won't be in here, I don't think. No. Andres Jimenez. Jimenez. Nice. Okay. The blue autos do look cool, though. Yeah. And he is, his autograph is a 150. sweet and tight autograph. Look at that. Not the player you want, but still cool. <clears throat> yeah. All right. I'll let you get into the second half here. So one hit in the first half. Not too bad. The blue. We have another blue autograph, too, that we pulled out of a different box. And those, they're beautiful cards. The color in Bowman's Best is, yeah, very nice this past year. Yeah, we didn't buy a box of Pristine, and I kind of wish we did before the prices went way up because I um, wasn't really sure about it, and um, I thought, oh, maybe they'll stay where they were, but, boy, that product really took off. Now, I mean, they're still, like, 425 or something like that, but weren't they at 350 when they released? Of uh, Pristine. Oh, Pristine. Yeah. They're not at 425. They're, like, 450, 475. 450, yeah. They're expensive. Uh, Christine's cool. They didn't make very much of it. No. I don't really, I, I don't know if it's a good rip at, like, I don't even. It's I don't know that it is either, because I've seen price. a lot of stuff that's just kind of mediocre. There's a lot of duds in there. Yeah, but a lot of mediocre. It is a really cool set. Yeah, it's a fun one. And it, the resale value is very strong. So. To me, it's a good one to buy into breaks. Uh, it, it's, with. it's built to be a breaking problem. Yeah, because there's a lot of potential, but yet at the same time, if you just bought a box, you could get, yeah not much in return yeah i don't know about personals on it but as a breaking product it's a lot of fun or by the pack i honestly think it's a pretty fun pack product because the packs end up being like 45 bucks ish yep. um you can hit pretty big out of a single pack for that price. oh yeah don't for know, sure like and you're gonna get something in every pack yeah it's just i don't know about buying you know 475 bucks for baseball is a lot of money it is all right we got a purple here purple in each pack of these chrome update Nick Madrigal, rookie debut. Nice. And behind that, uh, Brooks Robinson and this guy, Alex Manoa. He's, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the number one pitcher on the Blue Jays and having a very good year. Um, so that's not a bad card to pull. All right. Blue Jays still have the, or Canada, I should say, still has the you must be vaccinated clause. So, yeah, the series there always weird. One of the oh, I went Maryfield was traded to the Toronto Blue Jays, didn't was not vaccinated. Said, um, I guess said recently that he would be vaccinated so he could play there, but people were wondering what's going to happen with that. Very interesting. Uh, you know, COVID doesn't seem to ever want to go away, but all the results of it. Yeah, and some play, and I think Kansas City's team had like 14 players at one point that couldn't go to Canada. Your team. Yeah. <laughs> then now he just disappeared off the face yeah, of the Badoo. map. Badoo. Yeah. Uh, is he even on the I don't know. starting I roster? Some, I bought some Badoo stuff because he was one of the guys that sold really well for me and the, 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 like at yeah. shows and stuff yeah. for a while. And then, he was very popular. And then dropped off the face of yeah. the map. So. 
The Tigers. Tigers are one organization that cannot get it together. They're, yeah. Yep. They're struggling, to say the least. All their pitchers are hurt, and Torkelson's not doing well. It's like they need new management and coaching everything. I don't know. Riley Green's playing decent right now, which is good. But Yeah, right? Yeah, Riley Green's definitely um, a bright light. But let's see who else we can get out of here. Another hit, maybe? Yeah. No. I think we already got both autos. I think we did. Sure. That's what I thought. Victor Robles. I don't know. All right, let's do the next pack here. A minor league 2019. Another fun set. Two autos per. Yeah, we need some new stuff to come out to add to our random pack videos because we got all the stuff from last year We're looking for the new products. Yeah. Panini is like very far behind. Tops all of a sudden now looks like they're going to be getting very very far behind too. And somebody said something about uh, paper shortage. Yeah, no, I was just going to say there is actually it's a real thing. Yeah, a paper shortage, and so it, it is backing up <clears throat> everything now. There's a big like Chrome like the Chrome technology just takes a lot longer, so the industry is too. Um, <clears throat> takes a lot longer, so that's why that stuff is taking forever. Cause it's yeah. Up, but there is actually a paper shortage, so they're having a tough time getting. Yeah, it, so, so it's a legit, legit shortage, and yeah, unfortunate for the manufacturers and for us who like to get these new releases because we, you know, series two is fun, but uh, it's nice to get the new, new ones coming out. Let's see what we have here. Gold. A gold. No, it's a rookie. Yeah. Uh, Brewers are playing pretty well. And let's take out that rookie, put him over in this pile here. So far, nothing too crazy out of this break. The one autograph. It's 2022. Uh, let's see. This is a retail pack out of a blaster box. But hey, you can hit some pretty big cards out of these blasters. Yeah. Uh, Baez, interesting decision with the Tigers getting Baez. And there's uh, Brennan Davis, high five futures, which usually means you're not going to get a parallel or autograph. That's a nice one, Muncie. Yeah, Muncie. Most Tigers fans do not like Julio, uh, him. Baez. Baez. Yeah. Kind of now this is the guy right here yeah, he was good. having a good uh, year, I don't know what he's doing now, but he's had some pretty big home runs so this is, this is actually one of the better uh, Chrome first you can get. All right, so let's do the uh, silver pack from the top of a jumbo box. See if we can pull a parallel or even better yet, an autograph. Um, Joe Ryan. Seabold. Connor Seabold. The names in this, these silver packs are bad. Yeah, Jose Altuve and a Casey Mize. Got to check the back of these because the golds are very hard to see. That is um, true. But, yeah, not a gold. Let's see his Bowman Chrome pack. All right, Bowman Chrome pack. Produce a big card for us, yeah. Bowman Chrome. Bowman Chrome has actually chilled out a lot. It was super expensive for a while. And it still is. It's held, but it has not. Uh, it hasn't reason. skyrocketed. Uh, you got a purple. Purple, yeah. Spencer see. Howard. Perdomo. Perdomo. Oh, let's go in the back here. Tomas. Tomas. And... Barraza. Oswald. All right, let's see what this is. First. First. A good one. Christian Stewart for or Santana. Santana. First. Oops. Oops. And I bumped the camera at the end. All right, so here we go. Now let's take a better look since I've stopped bumping the camera. It is numbered at 250, 78 at 250. Santana. That guy looks very young. How old is he? Where does it say? Oh, born in 2003. So 19, yeah, young guy. All right, okay. well, hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. We'll be doing more of these random pack videos and as more product comes out, we'll definitely be adding more to it. But uh, for now, we'll ha we have enough stock to do a few more of these and still have quite a variety of packs. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. We're getting close to that 20,000 mark um, and we will be doing a giveaway for that. So thanks to everybody who subscribed and uh, check out the rest of the content on the channel. Comment below, let us know what you think and what was your favorite card that we pulled out of this break. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, have fun collecting. We'll see you soon.